Hello there. Imagine this, a patient with lymphoma is responding amazingly to chemotherapy. Why? Because those drugs are flipping the switch on apoptosis, programmed cell death, wiping out those rogue cancer cells without causing a massive inflammatory mess. That's the power of apoptosis in action and it's a USMLE step 1 favorite. Let's break it down with these high yield slides to help you ace those pathology and immunology questions. Apoptosis is ATP dependent programmed cell death. Uh, think about the controlled suicide, not the chaotic explosion of necrosis. It's triggered by three main pathways that all converge on activating caspases, the, those cytosolic proteases that methodically dismantle the cell, the intrinsic pathway. Uh, that's the mitochondrial, like when the backs and back poke holes, releasing cytochrome C which is super relevant in B53 mediated tumor suppression. The extrinsic pathway in which the death receptors like the FAS and TNF kicks it off, often in the immune responses. And the last one is the perforin or granzyme B. That's how cytotoxic T cells target virally infected or cancer cells. The results show a cell shrinkage, chromatin condensation, membrane blebbing, and apoptotic bodies that get quietly phagocytosed, no inflammation. That's the key for distinguishing it from necrosis on step one. Caspases are the stars here, driving that orderly breakdown. All right, now let's move to the morphology and diagnostics. This is what you will see on histoslides. Apoptotic cells uh, have deeply eosinophilic cytoplasm and a basophilic nucleus. The nucleus goes through pycnosis, condensing into the tight, dark blob, then carrier hexes, fragmenting into bites. Use this mnemonic to nail it. Pick the nucleus tight, carry it to bits. For confirmation, DNA lettering is your sensitive marker. Endonucleases chop DNA into 180 bytes fragments, showing up as a letter on gel electrophoresis. Compared to necrosis, apoptosis is active, ATP fueled with shrinkage and no inflammation, while necrosis is passive with swelling, rupture, and enzyme leaks like troponin. Uh, what about the inflammation? It is minimal in apoptosis thanks to phagocytosis. How can we diagnose it? DNA lettering versus those leaked enzymes. Isn't it fascinating how the body uses apoptosis for everything from embryonic development to fight cancer? To look this in, quiz yourself on a practice questions. What's the hallmark of apoptosis on electrophoresis? DNA lettering. Review these concepts daily. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and let's keep those high yield bites.